19 boundaries with men you must set when dating. He'll like you more. Setting boundaries, regardless of the type of your relationship, is essential for keeping a good connection with your partner. Seeking a close relationship should not interfere with your needs. Becoming one as a couple entails knowing oneself holistically, recognizing your personal and emotional needs, and communicating them effectively to your partner. It's not always easy to comprehend your boundary issues and convey them. In this video, we've put up a list of two types of relationship boundaries to aid you on your way to a loving and healthy cohabitation. Let's start with the first type, emotional boundaries. Number one, the ability to say no. You may find it easier to prioritize your partner's needs over your own needs for fear of offending them. However, if they ask you to do anything that violates your principles, disrespects your time, or compels you to make a significant sacrifice, it's okay to say no. It doesn't have to be harsh, but it should be said assertively. Number two, expecting respect. You deserve to communicate with kindness and love. If you believe that your partner is speaking with unjustifiable anger or in a disrespectful tone, you have the right to leave the situation. Tell them that if they want to speak with you, they must do so respectfully. Number three, refusing to take blame. Your partner may blame you from a place of hurt or guilt. This action doesn't mean that their wrath is your responsibility. Don't let them avoid accountability by manipulating your emotions. Acknowledge their pain and let them know you're there for them, but make it clear that you will not accept responsibility for their actions. Number four, dictating your own feelings. When you're in a relationship, your opinions and feelings might get blurred. Learn to distinguish between your feelings and your partner's perception of your feelings. If they speak for you, correct them and respectfully ask that they do not dictate your feelings for you. Number five, communicating discomfort. When your partner tells a nasty joke or violates a physical line, learning to explain your discomfort properly will help you establish boundaries. Let them know what you will not accept and set a course of action if he crosses that line. Phrases such as, please don't do that, it makes me uncomfortable, and I don't like it when you use that word, touch me there, or use that tone are straightforward and simple. Number six, accepting help. Some people are more independent and struggle to rely on their partners in stressful situations. If you need assistance, it might be beneficial to define your boundaries and what you do and do not want help with. You may seek financial assistance, but you need privacy while dealing with familial issues. This balance may be a delicate tango, but open communication results in a more consistent rhythm. Number seven, asking for space. In times of emotional turmoil, we may simply need to be alone. In a relationship, it might appear that you never are. Even if you don't mean to, asking for space may make your partner feel as if you're pushing him away. Alone time is totally healthy and essential for keeping your own identity and figuring out the problems you face. If you are not clear about your need for space, your partner may believe you are neglecting or ignoring them. Establishing your preference for alone time early on will be beneficial later on. Number eight, sharing mutually. It's acceptable to take things slowly at the beginning of a relationship. Don't feel pressured to reveal everything right away or that you have to share first for your significant other to open up. Vulnerability should be mutual with both sides checking in and establishing a safe place for sharing. Number nine, choosing to be vulnerable. Vulnerability should not be demanded. Of course, it's a crucial part of a healthy relationship, but you should never feel obligated to open up about a tough issue at any point in your relationship. You express your thoughts and experiences on your own terms. You should feel comfortable communicating that you may need time to discuss certain topics or memories. Number 10, sticking up for yourself. During an argument, you or your partner may say things that you later regret that are rude or offensive. Establish that you will not accept him speaking to you in that manner. You have inherent worth and deserve to be talked to with kindness. Make it clear that you need an apology and that your partner must acknowledge the harm their comments have caused. Personal boundaries. Number one, you have the right to your own time. You get to choose where and with whom you spend your time, alone or together. Perhaps you hate going to Monday Night Football. 
establish if Monday nights are for alone time or a weekly wine night with your friends. Perhaps you need a few days alone after a huge conflict. You have the right to ask for it. Number two, your right to privacy. There are several levels of privacy. You can share a home computer, but keep your email password to yourself. This option is reasonable. Your stuff, ideas, texts, diary entries, and even big problems like previous relationships or traumas are yours to share or not share at discretion. Infringement of those boundaries is unacceptable. Number three, the ability to change your mind. Your choices are your decision, as well as the freedom to make new ones are entirely up to you. If you change your mind, your partner should not make you feel bad about it. Define your explanation or just mention that you have chosen to change your point of view. Of course, being open is crucial, but it should be done on your terms. Number four, the need to handle negative energy. A personal boundary might also be one that you establish for your own actions. It's critical to manage unhealthy anger and resentment so that you do not bring negative energy into a shared environment. If you can't get it out on your own, get help. Being honest about your mood allows you to share your unpleasant emotions and lighten toxic feelings. Number five, the freedom to express spiritual boundaries. Your beliefs are unique to you, regardless of how much spirituality or religion you share with your partner. You and your significant other should accept each other's views, promote and support spiritual growth, and be willing to learn about the other's culture or faith. Number six, the freedom to express sexual boundaries. The first stages of physical intimacy with a new partner are exciting, but navigating one's boundaries in sex may be awkward or even dangerous. Openly communicating your demands or discomforts is critical, yet finding the right words may be difficult. Remember that every move you take demands your partner's passionate consent, and you should never feel rushed into anything. Talk with each other on a regular basis. Discuss your fantasies and boundaries. Honesty and vulnerability are very, very powerful. Number seven, the ability to communicate physical needs. Learn to convey the needs of your body. Are you a vegetarian and don't want meat in your home? Are you an early riser who has to be in bed by 10 p.m.? Then ensure that your partner respects your physical demands by not making loud sounds or watching TV late into the evening. On the other hand, discover your significant other's boundaries. If they want a later bedtime, make an agreement rather than pressing them to sleep earlier than their biological clock permits. Number eight, your right to material possessions. Choosing what to share and what to keep private is never an easy decision. Some couples maintain joint bank accounts while others choose for financial independence. Material and financial restrictions are common in all relationships. When you're single, you can put off cleaning the dishes for as long as you like. However, in a relationship, your time is not entirely your own. If you agree to a date at 9 a.m., you must keep your word. That includes learning to manage your time respectfully, even when you're alone. How will you establish boundaries in your relationship? It may be scary to open up and express what you need from your significant other, but you know yourself and your needs better than anyone else. A loving relationship, the one you deserve, will honor and cherish the boundaries that you've established. Ultimately, you'll be closer than ever. Showing your loved one that you are prepared to establish boundaries will encourage them to share theirs with you. The best things always require time and effort. Well, that's about it. Hope the video helped, and thank you for watching.